All right, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in Vegas Pro 18. And you can do this in a lot of different versions of Vegas. It's a very simple thing, actually. Uh, so you've seen it already, but we're going to make it right here. First, you need to go to your Media Generators tab and go to your Tiles and Text. and uh, Titles and Text, sorry, not Tiles. Titles. And just grab your normal sample one right here. And... This is just how to achieve a similar effect to what they've done. Uh, so you don't have to worry about following everything exactly. It's just so you understand some of the basics. So first off, uh, we're going to type in Star Wars. And is it one word or two? I've already forgotten. One word. Okay. And then, I should know that, right? Uh, so the text color's got to be black. So we're going to go to the text color, move it to the bottom left-hand corner, and then take this dial, move it all the way down. See how it shifts to use right there? Move it all the way down to black. So now we've got black letters, and then let's go to the background. Because right now the background's not black. The background's just got nothing there. So we need to go to uh, advanced and go to background. See how it's see-through? That checkered means it's see-through. Move it all the way up to black. So now we got black letters and a black background. So now, if you, boom, put it on an outline, you can see that the outline, all I've done is just take the outline with, move it up, and the outline color is already white. Now you can see that there is an outline, and that's how you get the outline look to your letters, outline only kind of thing. So uh, the problem is the font's a little wonky. So I have a little Star Wars uh, font. It's a little off-brand Star Wars font. What's it called? Jedi something? Here we go. Star Jedi. Boom. And uh, it doesn't like the way I've typed it for some reason. We don't actually need a white outline. We need a see-through outline. And that's easy to do. Just click on your white color right there for your outline color and move this dial on the right all the way down to the checkered flags. Now it's see-through. So now we can go back to our Media Generators tab and go to Color Gradient. And here we're just going to pick kind of a linear, uh, this has a linear yellow to red, or uh, that's soft red to white, soft blue, uh, it doesn't matter, just pick something. And then uh, you can actually change all the things about it right here, like if I rotate it, just grab and rotate, it's that simple. Now I have red on one side, yellow on the other. I can select the two and actually move it to blue, have more of that blue, and it has, creates a purple in the middle because there's a gradient in between. You can change how fast that gradient moves by, by crushing the colors. Uh, I just flipped it upside down. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it a little wonky, a little sideways. A little bit like that. Okay, every time you hit plus, you add a new color point, you can select that and change the color and have a gradient of a ton of different colors. You can change how the gradients work. Uh, a lot of neat things for this, this effect. Um, what we're just going to do is keep it simple right now. I mean, I'm going to delete that third co gradient color. Go back to the outline. I'm going to make that a little smaller. There we go. That's a little better looking. Okay, so now we got that wireframe outline and we've got the color gradient. So now we need a color gradient to spin. The easiest way to do that, you could do it here with the keyframing, but there's a much, much easier way. Just type picture in picture in your video effects tab, sorry. Go to type picture in picture. And then grab it, grab the default, make it bigger, and then Make it really big if you want. And then just rotate it. So just go to the angle here, keyframe that, hit the plus on the clock, and then at the very end, make another keyframe. Hit add keyframe there, the little plus green arrow, and then green plus sign. And then grab this little dial in the center, wait till you have the spiral arrow, and just rotate it. So now when we watch it back, So we need it a little bit bigger. So we're going to go to scale, and we're going to scale it up even more. Move it a little bit so the red still gets in there. Now let's give it a try. Let's 
So you can see some of that color shifting, and now let's let's add more red in there. So you can make that shift however you want, uh, but that's going to be good enough for our purposes right now. So the very next thing is just to do the zoom in, and that's really simple. Um, it's got two phases. There is a zoom in of the letters, and then the letters also start blurry. So what we're going to do is we're going to first do the zoom in where you just click this, this edit media button again and then we're going to keyframe it and we're going to hit scale hit the arrow there and here at the beginning we're going to start it smaller and at the end we're going to make it bigger and it's going to auto create a keyframe there so if we look at the end here we'll see it bigger uh, and then there we go now it gets bigger It might be a little slow on your editor uh, showing it getting bigger, but that'll be smooth if we uh, pre-rendered that it would be smooth. So the next thing we're going to do, sorry I'm sick and it's hard to talk. Now I'm going to shorten this media underneath it and uh, I'm going to go to media generators and get rid of the failed typing search I did earlier. Go back to solid color and grab yellow. Just drag and drop yellow underneath it so it can finish yellow and we can have it a fade to yellow so that way it'll kind of slowly become more yellow. Now that's not a Star Wars yellow though. It's just about there. Um, I'm not the best color picker but I think Star Wars yellow is a bit more uh, darker. So there we go. Um, better choice than I think I made the last time. Yeah, yeah, this one's a bit more Star Wars yellow. So, um, so boom, now it fades to the Star Wars yellow right around there. And you can change the amount of time of the fade. You can just right click and change the, change the type of fade, whatever you want to do. And if you're having trouble seeing it uh, with your computer, with all the different effects you've got going on, just arrow through one frame at a time and you'll see the more gradual transition. So, that's just using the arrow keys. Next, the final piece. This is fairly complicated for something so simple. Uh, the final piece is just go to your video effects and go to Gaussian Blur. And uh, what you want to do is just grab the default blur, throw it on there, and go to your vertical and horizontal range. You want to keyframe them both. And you want to start with zero. Well, sorry, not zero. You want to start with a very, very small, like let's start with 0 0.04 on each. Sometimes it's easier just to just type it in. So if we have 0 0.04 on each, that's pretty blurry already. And then let's hit this lock to keyframe, sync cursor to media. So now what we can do is actually scroll through and see how the media looks at that point in the keyframe. Uh, on this timeline right here makes it a little easier so uh, if we go all the way to the beginning it's really really blurry so let's actually make that less so 0 0.004 and then you have to make them match otherwise it's gonna look wonky okay so that's barely blurry so we need something maybe 0 0.01 0 0.01 okay that's blurry and then right about here is where we want it to start getting clear. So then hit you can hit the create new keyframe button and then you can change these to zero. And now you should be able to see this thing slowly. Like I said, it's a little it's a little slow right now. Slowly get more and more clear. So however blurry you want it in the beginning, let's say we change that to point 0.2. 
it'll get clearer and clearer the closer it gets to that next keyframe. And because keyframe's not at the very end, it'll be clear for a little while. So it's looking like it comes into focus. So that is the basics of how to emulate a title like the Star Wars title uh, at the beginning of The Mandalorian. Uh, it's a pretty simple looking title, but it's got a lot of little moving pieces, something fun, something a good fun way to utilize these features of Vegas, which are just already sitting there waiting to be used. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I will see you next time.